Hey everybody, Ben here with We Go Fishing and uh, it's been the winter. We've been doing some things. We've actually moved. Uh, we are from South Texas to Southeast Texas and during this time uh, I decided to make a custom fishing cabinet. I had an idea. I'm going to share with you step by step what we did in order to create this cabinet. Karen's going to walk you through the process of what we did and we actually found this cabinet. This, this is an armoire and we found this on uh, Facebook Marketplace and then we're going to redo it and make it into a custom fishing cabinet. All right, I am going to explain to you how we refinished this cabinet. It is actually very simple. This cabinet was previously all this color and it was very dated and scratched up. So the first thing I did was did a light sanding. You can use a sander or you can just use sandpaper. Now, after that, I wiped it completely down so it was clean. And then I decided to paint it. If you wanted to um, refinish it with a stain, you'd have to sand it all the way down to the bare wood. But I didn't wanna do that work, so I just lightly sanded it and decided to go with a chalk paint idea. So what you can do is mix regular black paint, um, this is caviar from Sherwin-Williams, with plaster of Paris, or you can do an even faster thing, which is a chalk paint um, spray can. So this is all in one, you can just spray it right on. I chose actually to do chalk paint with the Sherwin-Williams because I like to use a brush. So I brushed this whole cabinet with the black chalk paint, then I let it dry, and then I did two coats of polyurethane, and that is it. Then you are completely done, you wait till it dries, and you have refinished your cabinet. All right, so we have the cabinet now in place where we wanted it. And what we were saying about this is you can get any cabinet that will fit your space. It's one of the things I'm gonna do with this is just giving you an idea of what to do so you can have a custom storage area for your fishing equipment. And so get something that's gonna work for your space. There's lots of different cabinets out there. This is the one we chose that will fit our space. And you can see it was actually a TV armoire. Um, so you can see it's got the plugs and stuff like that, but we're gonna completely repurpose it for our purposes to make it into a fishing uh, cabinet. And so what I've done is I've cut these furring strips and I'm gonna put these furring strips here on the door along with the pegboards um, that'll be attached to it as well. And then I have the larger pegboard uh, for the interior and we'll do the same thing and we'll go ahead and mount those up and that'll be where one of our main storage areas for our, our fishing gear. Also, we have the shelf up here and we have two drawers down there which also function for our fishing gear as well. Let me show you what we're doing. on as you can see one of the things that I would definitely recommend is pre-drilling your holes uh, that'll help your string so you don't crack your furring strips and you also won't crack your pegboard but the reason why I put the furring strips on is so that it sits off of the actual wood itself so that you can put your pegs on uh, like so you can arrange those however you want but you can see I got the pegboard on the back two on the doors as well um, and now you're just gonna fill it up with all your fishing stuff you got your hooks your weights your reels just whatever you want to put in there of course, you can go to the hardware store. They got all kinds of different hooks for these pegboards, and you can customize the interior however you want. Um, so I'll show you when it's done, uh, how I got all my fishing stuff in. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with me. 
and I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a god, never change. Play the game that we say. I need a break. Time to stand strong. Need to move on to be what I want.